Hello YouTube, this is OI Friendly Fire with Off Gaming, uh, an IL-002, come check us out. I'm here to uh, show you how to install an RMOD server today. It's going to be pretty easy. So uh, first thing we need to do is go and um, make sure we have vehicles on the map. Uh, make sure that whatever server package that you're running, you have seen vehicles on the map, you have got in them, you have driven them. Okay. Um, second thing you want to do is download, get eyes on them. Basically, uh, second thing you want to do is download Armod, third PBO viewer, fourth CPVO. Uh, you can follow along in the description, and uh, all this information should be there. So uh, here's uh, Armod for private servers built by FPS Rad. Uh, one download does everything you need to do if you're wanting a OA server. Um, or I'm sorry, a uh, Cherneris server. So just download the original link. First thing though, read all this stuff. This is good stuff. Um, this is all a really helpful tutorial put together by Rad himself after he did it. Uh, it doesn't obviously capture all of the information for all of the server packages out there. But as you download more and um, try to figure out which ones are the best ones, you'll find that they're all a lot alike. So these particular steps that you have to follow should be the same in every one. We'll just double check at the end of the video and make sure. Uh, second thing, is a uh, third thing I mean you need to do is download PBO view. It's at Armaholic. Uh, the link's at the bottom. And I'm just going to go right here. Uh, fourth thing, you're going to get uh, Kigeti's um, tools package. But you may need some of these things in the future too for some other stuff, the unwrap and things like that. Now this has got CPBO version 2.12 and uh, this will help you pack your uh, PBOs back up. So for the unpacking of PBOs, you can see right here where I'm hovering over, this is the unpack box. Um, what you're going to do is basically right click a PBO and view it with ARMA PBO view and then you're going to unpack it to um, to whatever folder that your PBO is initially in. So uh, let's get to it here. Alright, uh, we're going to unpack our mod to the desktop. First things first. Oops. I've done this a couple times as a test. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's just going to bring in two things. So you're going to want to put these folders wherever your server is being held at. If you're running from home, your server is going to be held uh, on your local disk under your program files to your Steam, your Steam apps, your common, Arma 2 OA. And uh, everything's going to be right here. As you can see, this is already set up for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this up, though, on a separate package that I uh, put together for you guys. It's just a, a copy of Saintly that I downloaded from uh, the Saintly people. Uh, Shadow Duke in that. Um, this should work for Bliss as well. I did check that and it does work. Uh, Bliss looks a little different. This is Conan's private hive right here, um, but it's pretty much the same. So, uh, yep, let's get to it. Alright, so first thing, drag your uh, RMOD folder over and move it to the master. And you're going to go ahead and do all of that. Doesn't matter. Move and replace. There we go. So there's our RMOD folder inside of our Armored 2 Operation Arrowhead package. Um, and then you're going to bring your buy keys over to the keys folder. Boom. And yeah, we'll just replace it again. There we go. So also if you need to update uh, our mod or anything like that, that's how you're going to do it. Client side as well. So now that that's done, let's get back to our handy dandy guide here. All right. Um, take the our mod folder, put your our mod key, open the multiplayer missions folder. Uh, it should be right here. And you're just going to want to view this with, um, or you should be, it wants you to associate PBO viewer with this, which you may have to play around with to do. You're going to want to view this with PBO viewer. So just double click it. And this is for a Charneris build. I don't know what you guys are wanting to build, but this is for a Charneris build. And it's going to bring this up here. Now I've already unpacked it. It's that folder right there that has the same name. Okay? So you, you can unpack it again. Just go here to unpack, and it'll ask you where you want to put it. And this is not where I want to put it. But um, on your on your side, you would want to put it right back in here in your Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. Yada yada. So, already done that. Uh, from there, click on the same folder name as your PBO that you're wanting to edit. Go down to mission.sqm, edit with notepad++. Alright, here we are. This is where you're going to want to put your information. The more mods you have installed, like Lingor, Takistan, Fallujah, uh, Panthera, Utes, uh, was, it, was that a really good one? The Mosque, yeah. Link, link, I already said Lingor. Uh, the more of this you're going to have. So just go to the very last one, and um, we're just going to add our mod. Just like that. Boom. Oh, and a comma. And you also have to put a comma right here by the functions. There you go. Um, I guess we don't need a comma here. Ah, there you go. So a uh, comma breaks to the next mod. So we're just going to save that. And we're going to create a new PBO out of this. So I'm going to grab a hold of this. And I've already associated folders with CPBO. Uh, in order to associate something with CPBO, just open a PBO with CPBO. And it'll just bring up a black box and it'll go away really quick and that's in your done. Um, so now I'm just going to create this PBO right there. It'll say it already exists to overwrite. I'll say yes because I don't care. 
<laughs> and there you go. You have now created your new PBO right here for Chernerus so that you can run your server. So now go down to um, your Daisy server, which is going to be somewhere there, or it's going to maybe called something else, Start Daisy Server. If you're like me, on my server, I have a, an automatic restart function, so I had to add it to that as well um, to keep our mod in the game, uh, just because I use a different batch file than what came with the normal package so that I could do whatever I want to. Okay, so you're going to crack open your Daisy server in this instance, and um, you're just going to have to add at our mod to the very farthest part of your dash mod. Which you notice if you've done this client side, this looks a lot like your additional search or additional launch parameters, just because it is. Um, I don't have an at stats. I'm thinking maybe some other builds do, but I don't. But there that is. So we've got that going. Um, now you can save this, close it, and you should be able to double click that and start your server again fresh. Now you're going to want to get some vehicles in the game, right? You want to check and make sure it works. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you do have. Um, you did you did have vehicles in the server already and then you know make sure you have navicat and all the all the other database things that you need to open you could do this two ways you can execute or you can change your, your spawn executable which if you're using saintly is going to be under saintly oh i'm sorry it's going to be uh, under server setup and sql and it's going to have cherno spawns and linger spawns let's see if you're using a uh, private hive or i'm sorry a bliss it's probably going to be something like that too i don't remember i didn't look this far into it uh, let's see there you go, chernerspawns.sql. So the way to do this uh, easily is just crack it open, go down. Okay, yeah, see, I don't like this. <laughs> this is why I don't like this. Here's here's where all of your vehicles are that you'll have to put in. Um, this is laid out retardedly. So if you have Bliss and you have a problem with that, like I do, um, and you want it to be a little more user-friendly, get saintly, and edit that. Hey, just dawned on me that I forgot to add a very important part about um, editing the vehicles file and vehicles.pl and all that. So um, we're going to stop, start again where we left off uh, with the, uh, let's see, the Cherno spawns. Um, and you go down and you add your spawn into here by, first step is going to be taking the, the last good one, which this is uh, <laughs> what I did on the video, I just cut and I halved it. Um, we're going to copy that. Go down the line, and we're going to make that there. Uh, add a 4 at the end. Add a 4 at the end. <laughs> or whatever the, the next in sequence number is. This is going to be your uh, UID, uh, your ID of that vehicle. Um, and then there's the vehicle UID, which is at the end. Which, when you're in your database and you see number 1 through 52,000 that have spawned in your vehicle, or spawned in your database, including tents, including tents and, and, and wire and all that stuff, um, you'll just be able to find things a little bit easier. So then you're going to need to get a position in the game. You can either use that nifty map that everybody uses, or you can go around like I did to the 225 odd spawns that are in my game and um, do a bracket bracket and add some stuff in there. Add your new position in there, and then add the new vehicle that you want to see in the game. And you'll have to repeat this step over and over again until you get all your vehicles in. So let's put a GAZ uh, Vodnik. That's one I remember. I don't remember if there's anything else. Uh, just keep the same format, go on the next one, and uh, do another one like so until you, you are satisfied. I would do about five or ten at a time and just check all of them as you go. Um, another thing you're going to have to do is go into your vehicles PL, which is going to be um, down at the very bottom of Saintly if that's what you have, and I think uh, it's the same with Bliss as well. When you edit this, you need to make sure that the limit of vehicles you can have in the game, which is this line right here, number 31 on Saintly, is going to be increased to allow for however many vehicles you want. So let's try 14,000 vehicles in the game because that would suck. Uh, so do that. And then you're also going to have to go down to where the vehicle, the vehicle type, the limit of those vehicles, and the chances of those vehicles spawning in. So for all intents and purposes, we're just going to add the GAZ Vodnik and uh, make sure that it, it looks similar to all the other ones. And then you're also going to have to add a new percentage uh, for it to spawn in. So we'll do 1.00% to make sure we see it um, just at first. And you can you can spawn in you know 14 thousand of them if you'd like. Uh, so there you go. And that's really all you need to do from there. This will add it to your vehicles.pl which is the file that one, spawns your vehicles, two, cleans up dead tents and vehicles, uh, and three, spawns them in with some damage in them so that people can't just hop in them and drive. If you want to do it to where they don't have damage on them, then you can add them in straight through the database or use another server package that lets you add them in straight through the database. 
Uh, speaking of the database, let's go ahead and crack that open. I am not go going to run a server for you guys. Um, I'm not going to uh, to start one up. Now, now that I think about it, let's go to uh, Daisy server in our uh, information here. Which is, uh, here's our text file. Lost my train of thought when I came back to this, by the way. So there we are. Uh, so we have edited the uh, executable file. We have already uh, edited the batch file. And now we are ready to go on to the database. Okay, so if you want to add one into the database, you don't feel like messing with all that paperwork. Um, just open your database once your server is running and go down to your spawns. Um, you can add a vehicle in here. All you got to do is just uh, hit tab on this button and it'll bring in a new thing to do. So you can add, you know, number 229. You, can, you need to put the position in, whatever position it is. You need to add what type of vehicle it is. Now, I don't think that's the real name of it, but that's what we're going to call it now. Okay, and um, why? Why do you do that? Camtasia hates me. And then um, you're going to have to uh, make sure that you have, you know, put in the proper brackets. So the best way to do it is just to go somewhere on the map, get your guy's position off of the map, which this is me in game. I'm going to take my position wherever I am right now in the game, and lay down for like 30 seconds or something, and it usually works out just fine, and then add that into the spawn position here. So now you're going to have to close this and save it and restart the server. Once you restart the server, you should see that video, or you should see that vehicle there. Um, and that's that. I, I think that the best way to do this is going to be through your, uh, through your spawns file, your spawns executable. Which is, you know, always worked out pretty well for me, and it gets some. I do about five or ten at a time, like I said, and that usually keeps it pretty close to where I need it to be. Outside of that, um, thanks a lot, Rad, for putting this thing together. We really appreciate it. I know a lot of people are playing on my server and a lot of other servers. Uh, there's links at the bottom here. Make sure you go through. Uh, make sure you have your client set up for Armada. You won't be able to join the server, and you can figure out how to do that by watching my handy dandy client install video on YouTube, um, which is slowly gaining views. I like it. Uh, make sure uh, other people have the client mod done, the client side done, and uh, have it added the additional parameters in to join, which will be at Rad's website. Uh, here we went over this in the client side video. Uh, mes the method, as far as I know, works with Saintly. Or I, I know it works with Saintly, and as far as I know, Bliss and INM4. So um, check the links, get all your stuff. Be sure to comment and sub. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching the video. And one more thing. Thanks a lot, Rad. You, my friend, are awesome. We really appreciate it. Uh, have a good one, guys. And we'll see you later.